Hey y'all, I'm Corey Ashton and this is brought to you by Liquid Web, the most helpful humans in hosting. If you are looking for help when it comes to all things WordPress, be sure to check them out. Today though, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of the coolest tabbed content blocks that you've ever used inside of the Divi theme from Elegant Themes. I'm going to show you this resource from Divi Den. Take a look at this. Okay, so this is the resource I want to share with you. It is from Divi Den. And if you scroll here, check this out. This is a module for your Divi theme that pivots the content. Look at this. How cool is that? This is actually CSS styling that makes this this cool little triangle option here. You can, of course, change all the content to meet whatever you'd like to have. You can add in additional content here. Uh, you've got our vision, our mission, our values, our strategy. I've actually used this inside of a project that I'm building out right now. Check this out here. I actually use five different options. One, two, three, four, five. And again, they all rotate in with content. So they would have their own content. You can make them change and do whatever you'd like to do. Uh, and of course, it's fully responsive as well. Let me show you how to plug this in from Divi Den. Once you head over here to Divi Den, it's wp-den.com, and I'll put that link in the description box below. You've got access to so, so much, you guys. Oh my goodness. It's again, almost option overload, but if you take your time and kind of dig through what all they're providing for you, you've got access to tons of different layouts, for contact forms, about us page, pricing tables, testimonials, portfolios, service pages, team pages. They've got some design assets in here that you can just have access to. Uh, so many different modules. They've got a whole section here for footer modules. And of course, they've got a lot of pre-built pages for you as well that you're able to just plug and play. So they really do have a, a huge, huge library. I mean, look at this, 167 home pages as of today. So if you're watching this video a little later on, they might even have more inside of here. They do have unlimited support. I've had really great experience networking with them and just communicating with them on any issues that I run into. But for the most part, this thing has just been plug and play for me and I've really gotten excited about using it. So I wanna show you right now, uh, again, how you would come in here find the module that you want and uh, drop it into your WordPress website. So let me show you how that's done. So the tab example that I've shown you is actually a part of a uh, whole collection that they have called Sigmund. And if you come in here, these are all the different things that are involved with Sigmund. That's just the name they've given it to try to make a collection. So that's what they're calling it. Uh, moving in here, I'm just gonna show you some other really cool stuff. This is where we go right here for the tabs. But if you come over here, check out the sliders that this collection has. Look at this cool little option here. I love this. I just really, really enjoy it. It's something different. Uh, I, I just find it very unique um, to play around with some of these things that they have inside of here. Uh, for their portfolio, look at the different ideas that they have here. This kind of masonry, really cool portfolio. Clicking through here, clicking through, clicking through, and of course going back to all. So nice little hover effect, view project, go into it. They've just got some really cool options inside of here. And all of this, of course, plays directly with your Divi theme. For this example, though, we are looking at this option here. You see it load and kick over, there it is. So once you know exactly what module you want to use inside of which collection, you would purchase, of course, this product. Uh, you go here and sign up. Um, they've got uh, a 14-day free trial as of today. That's pretty great for you to use if you wanted to. But scrolling all the way down to the bottom down here, you get to see as of today um, what they are charging. Of course, this is uh, based. This company is based in Germany, I believe. Uh, but I tell you what, man, they have been very, very prompt to respond to me all the way over here in Texas. So really, really like this company. Very excited about using them more and more on all of my Divi sites. Okay, once you've logged in and purchased whatever level you want to purchase, uh, then you'll have access to the library. You will be able to actually have it directly inside of your WordPress dashboard. So we're going to go back over here into your WordPress dashboard. And of course, you're going to go to your Divi 
area and we're going to go into Divi Builder just for a minute and I'll show you where this now lives. Check this out, Divi Den Pro Templates. Here they all are. Oh my word. You get access to all this, you guys. Look at this. Uh, you can just kind of flip through, see all the different ones here, the different collections that they have. They're all in here. Now, this specific area here is all their different page templates, right? Their page layouts that you can apply to your builder templates up above, right? We all are learning how to use these uh, really powerful solutions here. If you're interested in learning more about the theme builder, I do have a totally separate video that will teach you the power of utilizing this feature across your entire Divi website. But specifically for this module, we're going to go ahead and go over here to the left side. You actually have a custom post type that says Divi Den Pro. Clicking on that then takes you into their full dashboard where you can find everything. They have tutorials, the custom CSS files that support all this. I mean, you've got a lot of options all the way across the board here. I'm going to go ahead and scroll through here and we are going to look for our collection for Sigmund. Here it is here, Sigmund. I'm going to go into it and down through here you can just kind of search through all the different things that you're going to find. But ultimately here's what we're looking for right here. Our intro tabs area is what we're looking for. So with this, Here's how we do it, super simple. Once you've found the module you actually wanna use, since you've already got your license connected and everything, we're gonna go ahead and click download. That downloads to your computer then, and then what we'll wanna do is go put it inside of our library. So we'll jump into Divi Library, and we will just come up here to Import Export. Right here we wanna to move to Import, and we're gonna choose that file that we just downloaded, right? That's all we're gonna do, jump in downloads. It's a nice little JSON file right there. Import into Builder. Remember, it's got to be that JSON file. So uh, you're not looking for a zipped file. And we're done. That now lives in your library here. See it? Intro tabs right there. Yay! Now, anytime you go into a page, you can add that. Let's go do it. Page, add new. We're going to do um, testing intro tabs, right? We're going to say use the Divi Builder, and I'll show you this uh, really easy to add in. We want to add a full section, right? And from the section now inside of add from our library, now we have intro tabs right here. Click that and it's gonna look a little wonky initially and it might also be skewing just a little bit because of my uh, mirroring right now. But once you click the gear icon and go into it, these are your upper tabs and then opening them up gives you the content. There's the name that you can change of course. Here's the content that lives on that left side. And then uh, you also have the background image there's our background image that automatically has the CSS applied to it. So I'm going to go ahead and check the box for now. Check the box for now. I'm going to go ahead and save where we are, right? Let me uh, scroll here and click save for us. And I'm going to save the draft. And we're going to go ahead and view this thing on the front side really quickly, and I'll show you that it works perfectly. And I'm going to exit the Visual Builder up here at the top. You'll see that. That'll take us back into the page, and you see it auto-correct itself right there. Brilliantly done. So cool. And, of course, you click through, and you're able to use them on your own website. Hey, I know that was really fast, but Divi Den actually has a lot of their own tutorials as well. So be sure to head over there. Let them know that Corey Ashton sent you their way. I absolutely love this product, and I'm using it more and more every single project that I'm doing. And don't forget about Liquid Web. If you need help with anything when it comes to WordPress support, be sure to reach out to them. I'll give you a coupon code in the description box below. Please like and subscribe. I love to hang out with you every single week here on WordPress Wednesday. I'll catch you next time. Bye, everyone.